Today I'm going to be talking about can't get a programming job. This is one of those emails I get all the time. I get comments from people all the time saying that they can't get a programming job that they've tried for like six months or they've tried for a year. Some people have even said they've tried for five years and they can't get a programming job. So I'm going to be talking about today in this video how you can deal with that situation and actually turn around and get a programming or software development, web developer, whatever it is, job. Hey, what's up? John Sonmez here from simpleprogrammer.com. Now, before I do, I do want to remind you that Simple Programmer is the place for learning more than just technical skills. It's soft skills. I wrote the book on it, Soft Skills, the, the Software Developer's Life Manual. Uh, so, you know, make sure that if you if you haven't already, you click that subscribe button down below and click the bell so you get the notifications when the new videos come out because we're going to be talking about all kinds of topics related to career, to finance, to personal development, everything that is going to help you as a software developer learn to be able to market yourself and to build up your career and to improve yourself as a person. Honestly, that's, that's what I'm all about on this channel and Simple Programmer is about as well. What do you do when you can't get a job as a programmer and, and you've been trying, okay? And I, I get this all the time, right? And, and the reason why, and, and, and I think this applies more than just programmers, but definitely programmers, the, the reason why this, this occurs is because what most people think about getting a job is that they just have to apply for jobs and then this should magically happen for them. They're just gonna learn what they learn, they've got their degree, they've got their experience, they've got their skills, and they're just gonna apply for jobs and then they should get a job and that's how it should work. But life doesn't work that way, okay? It, it doesn't work that way at all. This is the mindset of a person that is sort of trapped in what I call the system, okay? The system that that we all kind of are born into where you know we, we get this, this advice of, you know, go to school, get good grades, listen to the teacher, raise your hand before you're talking, uh, you know, go to college, get good grades, get your degree, uh, get a job, save for retirement, work your ass off, and then, you know, eventually, hopefully, that you can retire and, you know, don't make any trouble, don't make any waves along the way. I was there. I was the cubicle guy. I was living my life that way. I've changed my life. I'm not saying that you have to completely do what I've done. You don't have to become an entrepreneur. You can still work the career, but you need to change your mindset, okay? Because you need to stop thinking about things in terms of, all right, if I do this, I get this. Life doesn't work that way. The way that you get value is you provide value, right? Everything in life is an exchange of value. I give you something, you give me something. You gotta think about what is the value that you're giving and what is the value that you're getting, okay? And so many people are so focused when they're looking for a job on the value they're getting. They want the job. In fact, you know, I see those resumes all the time where the top of the resume says objective. I would like to get a job as a C-sharp developer, .NET developer, where I can use my skills to increase my career or to their best advantage or whatever kind of bullshit that you put in there. No one cares what you want. They only care what you can do for them. This is life in general, all right? So when you change your mindset and you realize this, it changes the way that you approach a job search. You can figure this out on your own and you don't even have to listen to the rest of this video. You could figure this out if you just change that mindset, okay? So the other piece of this component is, you know, this idea of thinking outside the box, right? If you've seen some of my other videos on this channel talking about getting a job, getting a job without a degree especially, which you can find the links in the description below. Make sure you subscribe so you can get all those videos you know that I talk a lot about thinking outside the box. And what I'm talking about there is forgetting about the traditional way, forgetting about the way that people tell you the rules they say you have to follow in order to get a job and instead doing what makes sense, okay? And, and, and here's the thing, right? It, it's gonna be a lot different than what other people are doing. There's this kind of entitled mindset, right? That, that, is, that is part of this. It, it's what I call the victim mindset, okay? It's, it's a little piece of this, right? Where what you're saying is that all I have to do is go to college and get the degree and then I'm entitled to a job. <laughs> Sorry, world doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. If I learn to be a great programmer and I'm the best programmer in the world, I'm entitled to a job. No, sorry buddy, it doesn't work that way either. I mean, it's, it's great that you'd be a great hire, but it doesn't work that way, okay? Or you say, if I apply for these jobs and I have the qualifications, 
I should eventually get a job. That's what should happen. Sorry, doesn't work that way. I wish it did, it doesn't work that way. Instead, what, what you, you gotta look at what's actually happening and what the results you're getting are and how can you get those results. I would like the world to work the way that I want it to work. I'd like it to be, if I do X, I get Y, but it doesn't happen that way, right? Especially as an entrepreneur, man, I'd love it. So like, if I just make a video, I get money. If I just put out a product, I get money. People will buy it. It doesn't work that way, right? Some people are gonna buy it, some people are not. Everything you do is not going to work, all right? You have to adapt. The very first thing, and I've said this many times before, but I'll repeat myself here, is that you should be treating, when you don't have a job or you're looking for a job, you should be treating looking for a job as a job. Treat it just like a job. Get a little Trello board or Kanban board, okay? and put tasks on there, okay? What are you gonna do? Plan out your day. How are you going to attack this, all right? I've got some really concrete steps in here in the Complete Software Developer's Career Guide. This is quite the book. There's an audio version of this as well. There's a spreadsheet I have that you can get with the extra material with that where you can actually track your progress of going after a job, like it's systematic, right? From like, like treating getting a job like sales leads coming into a funnel and you're like okay this is the first step of the of the funnel i have done the application and then did i get a call back and then did i do a follow-up and all the way through and tracking the progress of that it's a numbers game okay and, and and so if you apply for like let's say five jobs and you're like i'm really hoping i'm gonna get one of these jobs wow the odds are so bad against you you might need to apply for a hundred jobs in order to get 10 interviews, in order to get three offers. You gotta figure it out that. You know, some people, maybe if you apply really well, you have really good credentials depending on the market. What maybe you apply for 30 jobs and you'll get 10 interviews and you'll get you know three offers or something like that, right? But you but you won't know if you don't track the statistics. So treat this as a job, okay? Go out there, and if you don't have any job at all, you should be spending eight, ten hours a day working on getting a new job, on getting that job. If you spent that much time and effort, if you like spent so much time, I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on polishing my resume, I'm gonna hire a professional resume writer, okay? I'm going to work on my cover letter, I'm gonna get feedback on my cover letter, I'm gonna hire someone to help me write my cover letter, okay? I'm gonna go through and I'm going to, you know, customize my resume and my cover letter for the specific jobs that I'm applying for. I'm gonna research the companies before I apply for the jobs so I can talk about specific information. I'm gonna start networking. I'm gonna start building up a network and reaching out to people on LinkedIn in and looking at meetup groups and going to meetup groups and meeting people and making connections and seeing what value I can offer to them so I can start building up that. I'm going to look for blogs of developers that are working for the companies that I want to work for and I'm going to start commenting on those blogs and start trying to meet them and, and start pro providing them some value in their life so they know who I am so I can ask for a personal referral. I'm gonna start asking people to go to coffee with me and, or offering to buy them lunch even though I'm broken unemployed uh, because I want to build up relationships so that I can get in the back door instead of the front door. If you create a process of finding a job that can't possibly fail, right? If you apply for 10 jobs a day and you're doing all this other stuff, a lot of these things I'm mentioning, you can't possibly fail, right? If you trust that process, if you create that process, over time, you're eventually going to get that job. So if you're telling me, John, I, I can't, I've been applying for jobs, I can't get one uh, for six months or for a year, you're probably doing it wrong, right? I'm gonna ask you, my question is, how many jobs have you applied for? Maybe we're well, like 15 or so. <laughs> I have to laugh. You did 15 jobs in six months and you expected to get one of them? Did you even get an interview? Because you probably even didn't, okay? You need a lot more. Okay, you need to be doing 10 jobs a day or maybe five jobs a day if you can't do 10 quality ones where you're customizing your resume and you're customizing the cover letter for that, where you're doing specific research on the company, where you're reaching out to people specifically, where you're following up tenaciously, okay? Treat it like a job, right? Like you have to make, like you're a salesperson, okay? And you're trying to make a sale because you are. You're selling yourself, okay? You're marketing yourself. That's the key. Is, is, is you've got to be able to do that that kind of stuff and you have to take it to that level. Again, I've got more information in the Complete Software Developer's Career Guide. Again, you know, you can check that out. It's I've got it really cheap for the Kindle or audio version. You know, the, the printed version is more expensive because it's a big ass book that has to be shipped to you. But, you know, check it out. If you want more information about this, go to simpleprogrammer.com uh, and, and, and check out the membership area that we have there. We've got a whole community of, of people that are 
software developers that can give you connections to get a job, by the way, if you're come there and you add value and you're friendly and nice, don't just go in there and be like, hey, give me a job, or hey, can you help me get a job? You know, go in there, participate, part of the community. It's pretty cheap to get into the community when we open that up. But that's that's something that's, that's gonna be, I think you're gonna find that really useful. There'll be a link in the description below. And start thinking, how can you actually make the sale, right? How can you learn how to market yourself? That's one of the things that we talk about on Simple Programmer. I've got a, a course on that. I think it's free now for the members on how to market yourself as a software developer so you can get job leads coming to you. That's the best way, all right? That, that's the best thing that you could do. When I started my blog, I started my YouTube channel and I was still working as a programmer and I was getting companies calling me up, offering me jobs without me having to look. Uh, it was awesome. I was getting like, you know, big salary bumps, huge hourly rates. It, it was insane. But you know, you gotta do some work to, to do that and you gotta know how to market yourself and build a personal brand. But aside from that, just applying the right way and treating, the biggest thing I would tell you is treat the job search like a job, put in your eight hours a day worth of work on that and you, you'll, you'll get this, you'll figure this out. You're just not putting in enough effort. You're just expecting the universe to give you uh, something just because you ha are qualified or just because you've applied for jobs. It doesn't work that way. You gotta figure out how to make it happen. Right? You gotta make that sale. At the end of the day, you can, you can be upset, you can blame the world, you can have the victim mindset, or you can have the self-responsibility, uh, the self-reliant mindset to say that, I'm gonna take responsibility for my actions, and I'm gonna take responsibility for the results, and I'm gonna do what I can, and if I'm not getting the results I want, it's up to me. It's not someone else's fault. I am going to take action, and I'm gonna change what I'm doing. All right, that's all I have for you guys today. Like I said, click that subscribe button, join the Simple Programmer community, and if you've got questions, if you've got some comments, leave them down below. Let me know how long you've been looking for your job, okay? Put it in the comments below, and then tell me that you're gonna change things. You're gonna to commit to doing what I said in this video. Maybe you're gonna buy the book. Whatever you're gonna do, tell me what you're gonna do that's gonna change this, that's gonna get you the job, and I will talk to you next time. Take care.